guys, yeah, that's the beauty of the MC-707. You have the mixer right there on the front and three custom encoders to control anything you want as well as an effect per track and three overall effects. If you're familiar with Roland's Phantom series, what you have here is essentially a Phantom workstation keyboard, but it's in a little groove box format. About three years ago, I did a tutorial on the MC-707, and it's had 20,000 views, so thank you for watching that. But the vast majority of you who watched it didn't subscribe, according to YouTube, so why don't you go ahead and subscribe now and hit the bell for all. But after three years, I've made some cool patches on it, and I thought I would share with you my patch collection for download. Now, it's very easy for you to use my patches and for us to share patches. But the really amazing thing is that my settings on these three encoders that are located on every track, sometimes controlling aspects of the synth and sometimes controlling effect parameters, whatever I thought was relevant, they go with the patches. So you'll have something here that's all ready to perform. So let's take a look at the patches, and after that, I'll show you how to quickly and easily use these on your MC-707. So to start out with, we've got 92 Space Drum Orchestra and the song Raw Bass Dub 1. And then you got Boards of Canada, Kiny Industries. And I put a little bit of their sequence in there. Cool thing about the MC-707, if you hit shift and the right arrow, you get settings for the clip. And now you can mess around with that. You can play random notes. Now the really good thing about using random on here is that it only randomizes the notes that you have input, not just any note. So it always sounds pretty good no matter what you're doing. Next we got Aphex Twin Is Us Keys. And I put a little bit of the sequence in there. And if I want to make it my own, again, I do shift, right arrow, put it on random. And it's right in the song for me. So this one I call VHS string. And I'm using the chord function on here to play seventh chords. So next we got Mount St. Michel, St. Michael's Mount from Aphex Twin. Next we have Boards of Canada, Roy G. Biv Bass, and I put a little sequence in there. Let's do a little random with it. So next I've got Boards of Canada, Everything You Do is a Balloon. Now the cool thing about this is, if you listen to the original song, you can hear it just kind of high passing away into nothingness as it, as it goes along. And so on Encoder 2, I've got the high pass filter, and I can do that kind of thing. Also, now they have the arpeggiator you could use with this by hitting Shift Note Note. Now the arpeggiator's on. And of course, I'd have to do acid 04. 
And I've got the uh, FX to sending on the reverb. Then I made a little computer voice that uses that same kind of function as Asset 04. <laughs> Then I've got that really awesome bass from Aphex Twin Circlon 1. And lone birds don't fly this high. And that one has a pump in it like the original song. So if you... Turn up, I think it's the first one. No. Yeah, it's the second mod here that's a pumping sound. Then I got a string that does a pumping sound. It's called Mod Pump String. You can use it that way, or you can turn the sys control, the second one, second encoder. Next, Aphex Twin Polynomial C. So I don't know if you guys have seen the SH-101 sequencer that they put in the MC-707, but you get to it by hitting record and the first trig. Now it's operating like the SH-101 sequencer, and you can put the notes of Polynomial C in. So... Rest there. Okay. And if I hit play. This is Square Pusher theme from Ernest Borgnine, and I've entered uh, the sequence in there. It's a generic uh, Boards of Canada pad, not from any specific song. Maybe Cold Earth or something. <laughs> The Advisory Circle Sundial. Yeah, so this is the bass from Cloud Face 2. The sound from Orange Ramada. A sound that kind of reminds me of Mood Hut label. This is kind of an original sound that I call Chicago Deco that utilizes the four oscillators to make a chord, one of them being kind of a sub chord.
Yeah, this is a sound from C. Spock Bright Stones. <laughs> Otecker, Utah. <laughs> Caribbean steel drums. That uses the cross modulation of the VA synth to get that. Yeah, this is the classic uh, Juno 106 organ. One of my favorite sounds, I think it's organ two on the Juno 106. So here's one I call tape choir, where I've, again, I've used, utilized all four voices inside the VA synth and using different octaves, you get a nice sound out of it. Yeah, so this is Bakuma. I've got a little sequence centered in there. This one I call Acid Chime. It uses the cross modulation as well as I made a custom scale and microtuned it. The Vord Hospin Keys. The sound from Tycho A Walk, and I've put a little bit in the sequencer here. Okay, I've got kind of a classic Tycho lead, kind of a generic Tycho lead. you hear in a lot of his songs. A lot of air going through that one. Kind of got that, that tape sounding flute uh, like in Boards of Canada wildlife so that's what i've got these patches will be available both on patreon and i'll put another link there for you to get them in another way if you don't want to be a patron but i hope you'll come over and be a patron and we can discuss synth and all the new equipment that comes out yeah, the way you use them is very simple you go to a an open um an open clip here i haven't even designated that as anything i'll designate it as a tone and it tells you that you can get your preset from a project. So that's what you'll do. And you'll the project that you'll use is patches.mpj. So it's all those patches. And you can see them all there. And uh, you should recognize them by name from this video or from, from hearing them in the past. So there's all the patches. And you just Pick one, like Cloud Face 2 Bass, hit Enter, and there you go. It is loaded up there in that clip. Easy as that. Glad I could share these with you. See you in the next video. 
change the scale.